My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, 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 what's going on, my brothers and sisters? Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. I finally, finally, finally just seen the Batman. I thought I was going to see the movie the day it dropped. I got busy. I'm like, man, I'll see it when I see it. <coughs> a couple of, of my viewers were um asking, were, uh, asking me, bro, you got to do a review for the Batman. You got to do a review for the Batman. So I'm doing a little uh, review for the Batman. Great movie, man. Um, I did enjoy the movie. I will say, though, I felt it was a wee bit too long. Like, I felt like it kind of, because what, wasn't the movie like two hours and almost a three hour movie? Hold up. Yeah, two hours and 56 minutes. So almost a three hour long Batman movie. And not that I can't watch a three hour long movie. I mean, freaking Endgame was great. Even, I freaking despised Justice League at first, but then Zack Snyder's version came out. That was like, what, four hours? And I actually enjoy, and I actually enjoy that. So it, 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 it's not that I can't watch like a long superhero movie. At times it did drag sometimes, especially, you know, with the Alfred stuff and, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne's dad and all that cop action going on in detective work. But for the most part, I really did enjoy the movie. Robert Pattinson's Batman. Wow, bro. He was actually really he, he was great as Batman. Uh really not too I mean his 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 Bruce Wayne was kind of like emo like. <laughs> you know, he was just like always like like in deep thought and sad. <laughs> and so really, I mean, I'm I remember I'm not really judging him too much on his Bruce Wayne persona. Ben Affleck was a great Batman too. Like, and I feel like that shocked a lot of us. And Christian Bale, we all know, was a great Batman. But I will say this. Something about Robert Pattinson's Batman, I'm feeling a little bit more than those two. Even Christian Bale. Christian Bale was a great Batman. But he, I, feel, I feel like Christian Bale's Batman didn't, like, really, like, strike fear like that. I loved how just gritty and physical he was in this movie he struck fear into his foes and that's something that i even though i loved christian bale's batman you know uh <laughs> i just feel like robert i feel like he's he, as batman i feel like he was the best one i don't know if that's me you know going too far but i was really shocked by how good his bat I, I love the way batman looks in this movie he got like that arkham asylum tier look to him you know i at, at first i wasn't too too like sure you know because in the uh trailers he looks like you know kind of too young and too skinny each time he's like doing that like like scowl thing <laughs> you know and he looks like he looks like batman robert padson not so much as bruce wayne but when he's in Batman form and doing like all the Batman and he's not forcing his voice to sound like, <laughs> you know, he's not, he's not doing the Christian Bale voice or Ben Affleck had like the voice change where he's just talking as Batman, but still sounds like menacing. Did a great job, man. The Predator, Zoe Crack. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> she, she was solid. Um, you know, I, I didn't really feel like she did an amazing job as Catwoman, but she wasn't bad neither. She was just solid. You know, she played her role well. She was great. Of course, she was fine. I love the uh, dynamic that they had in this movie between Batman and Catwoman. I will also say the fighting in this movie i think is the as far as the fighting chore choreo choreography and even as great as the christopher nolan batman films were we all know that those are great i never really enjoyed the fight scene so much though in those movies like the fight scenes were always like kind of weak to me as great as those movies are i just always felt like bro this is batman like this look is supposed to be doing like freaking crazy stuff and that's why i feel like a lot of us enjoy uh ben affleck's batman so much because you know stuff like the warehouse scene and like they actually show like how like vicious batman could be in combat 
in this movie i just loved how again how physical robert pat robert pattinson's batman was in this movie every time he was fighting it was like damn it was like damn like this man batman cannot and and uh even that scene where like catwoman was trying to take on batman it was like bro you're not messing with batman stop <laughs> batman's theme sounds epic with anything I swear, every time they would play that theme, it was just, I, 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 that's a theme that I literally can't get sick of. Like, even after I walked out the theater, like, I freaking looked it up on, like, YouTube and <laughs> was, like, playing. That theme goes so hard to me, bro. It's perfect for Batman. The times that they played it in the movie, it was, like, at the perfect time. I also loved how they uh, kept on playing uh, the uh, something. And that song is just a vibe. I love that song. <laughs> Phenomenal. It all fit perfectly. Also, something I wasn't too sure of in the uh, trailer was the whole Batmobile thing. And I know this is supposed to be based off of a younger Batman. So that's why people were saying at other times, oh, no, that's why it don't look like uh, that. It's supposed to look like this because this is a young guy. I was like, all right, Stan. <laughs> so, but no, the Batmobile in this movie, I, I, I wasn't too sure about it when I seen it in the trailer, but I actually did did like it that a uh, chase scene that happened in uh, the movie was one of my fave was one of my favorite scenes i will also say when i was watching this movie throughout the movie i wasn't really it, it's not that I, I i didn't like it but i wasn't feeling all the way the whole riddler stuff that was going on because one it was kind of just turn it was just turning into like you know, a de like a detective cop movie, like too much. I'm like, all right, bro, I came here to see Batman. <laughs> it was like too much like detective work going on. For a while, I wasn't feeling the Riddler in this movie. Until, <laughs> until they catch him. And then you have that interrogation scene between the Riddler and Batman is on the other side of uh, the glass. And then I don't even know the the freaking actor's name. But then that scene right there, I was like, all right, I like him now. <laughs> like that scene made the Riddler for me in this movie. I don't know the actor's name, but man, he killed that scene. It was way much more of a dark version of the Riddler, you know, because uh, again, I'm, I'm not a Batman fan on that level, so I don't really know too much about that character like that really outside of the Arkham games, <laughs> you know, so my take of the Riddler is being kind of like this goofy, well, not goofy, but just like, you know, not, not a like that, <laughs> like he was almost like, like, a, like a dark version of the Ritter like 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 a unhinged version like you never knew what this man was like up to next and that's really what made me like was like okay I'm sold on the Riddler now <laughs> so I'm very interested to see what did they do with him in a, the uh future I guess the end scene let's talk about the end scene real quick was that I'm guessing well is that supposed to be another version of jo bro how many jokers are in DC right now I guess Joaquin is still, <laughs> I don't know if Joaquin is going to do another Joker. Uh, I'm hearing that Jared Leto is still supposed to be the Joker of the DCE. I, I, bro, I don't, DC is so weird. Like, there's like, what, three or four different Jokers now? You know, someone going to be playing Joker in that world. I don't freaking know. But I'm guessing that that was, was Joker with the uh, end scene whatever when when uh, him and riddler's just laughing together <laughs> so interested to see how that uh plays out but yeah man i uh, will say i did really enjoy this movie i did think it was a little bit too long i i, I feel like this movie would have been better feels like maybe two hours and 15 maybe max 30 minutes i feel like this being a three hour movie it didn't really need to be but what i will say is this as a Batman movie, because we haven't really gotten like a solo Batman movie since what? Dark Knight Rises? As far as solo Batman movies, bro, I ain't going to put this over. Uh, I don't know. 
know, bro. I mean, we, we, uh, me and my Twitch chat did or just watch Dark Knight again. That movie is a little overrated. I ain't gonna... <laughs> you didn't say that. Tell me. I know Suggs was just like, excuse <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, like, that movie do kind of get glorified a little bit. <laughs> but it's not better than Dark Knight. Um, as a solo Batman movie, I probably will put it over Batman Begins, even though I think Batman Begins gets kind of underrated. Um, and I'll probably put this over Dark Knight Rises too. This might be my second. I didn't really watch any of like the Michael Keaton Batman stuff, so I can't really say. But yeah, as a solo Batman film, to my memory, this is probably top two. Really, the only gripe that I have with this movie is I do feel like it was a little too long for its own good. Not every movie has to be three hours. You can be three, three out, three hours long, but you know, if any time, I mean, and, and I mean, you can still make the case for in game. Like, in game did have some sections to where you know you might have said it dragged it at times, but I still feel like at no point during in game was I like bored or like you know kind of disengaged there definitely was some times in a this movie to where i was like <laughs> checking my you know checking the time a little bit like all right bro let's get to the next scene. <laughs> so i'm definitely excited to see uh what they do with batman in the future robert is a and it's and it's not like they've been ha having bad batmans again ben affleck has been great for batman uh batman is still clearly dc's you know cash cow you know so you're having all these great takes on batman and stuff like that you have a great joker right now whichever joke you want you want uh, you want to decide to go with it's not like they don't have you know great actors that are filling the spots for these iconic characters i'm interested to see what dc does with this in the future you know so however that ends up uh that'll be interesting but yeah uh, out of ten, I'll probably give this movie um, I'll give it a strong eight, strong eight point five. Yeah, great movie, man. Um, what 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 did you guys feel about the uh, Batman? I finally seen the movie. Leave all your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next video, my brothers and sisters, I catch our boys in the next one. All right.